Are we gonna buy this outreamer? If it shall be, it shall be. <laughs> no! We shall not buy the outreamer. I release you from the spell. <laughs> A new day dawns, literally. The sun has returned. I feel my spirits lifting. Change of pace, we're headed to Auckland and then Fongare, Fongare, as long as I keep it on the correct side of the road. Megan's been busted yeah. once and she just busted me. Yeah. All right. She left. Oops. The rain has stopped. It's gonna be a beautiful scenic tour. Glad I got my cap on this because it's treacherous. They look like a granny. <laughs> Just concentrating here. 44 more Kims. Kims. Those are kilometers. And Mims. Those are meters. Hopefully we make it. This boat's a 2008. It's done some miles. And it'll be interesting to see how it's worn. smell a vision alert. We were getting a strong garlicky smell, and then that turned into a wax smell. Hope nothing's burning on this little <laughs> Mazda. <laughs> we made it to Fangari. Fangari? Good job, Nick. Thank you. Oh. That was a workout, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna hand this off to you, so I don't get any wetness in here. Are you saying I'm I'm blue steel? I'm yeah. doing blue steel. What was that? You feel like this. There it is. <laughs> you don't even realize you're doing it. Well, that's just I'm automatically blue steel. That's how it goes with me. What are we up to, Megan? Well, this is a big moment. We're going to see what could be our next home. No pressure. No pressure. We're trying to stay calm, chill, relax. If it's the right thing, I think we're going to know. We're going to feel it. So I'm looking for a feeling. I'm going into this very relaxed, and I'm just going to see it for what it is. I just want to talk to the sellers, get to know them, take a look around the boat without trying to frame the perfect shot and all that. And then if it looks like a, a go for throttle up, we'll come back tomorrow and, and do some more shooting. What do you think? I Take agree. some pressure off. I agree. I say don't even bring the cameras. Save the weight. Let's just go. If this is going to be a fit, we're going to come back tomorrow anyway. Where is it? It's in the corner. I see the black mast. Oh, yeah. Feel a few butterflies. I don't know why. It's just a boat. Just a boat. Could be your. Could be your home for the next few years. <laughs> A little bit riding on all days. Yeah, a little bit. No. Ooh, she might need a bottom job. Hey, what's going on here? Why are you showing us photos of a boat from the Caribbean? I thought we were in a boatyard in New Zealand. All right, let me explain. We always ask owners of boats if it's okay to film. And when we asked the owner of the Uchimer 55 in Fongare if it was okay to bring the cameras out, he said no, he'd prefer that we didn't film his boat. We respect people's wishes, of course. However, the reason why he didn't want his boat filmed became clear pretty quick. We had a long conversation with the owner of the boat well in advance of making the trip up north. And he told us that the boat was ready to circumnavigate. Those were his words. What we found was a boat that was far from that kind of condition. The boat had been sitting on the hard for almost a year. There were deck leaks. There was interior damage. The props were loose on the sail drive shafts. The rudder bearing was loose on the starboard side. All of these things are actually relatively minor 
and if we had the boat for the right price, not a big deal to bring her back up to ocean standards. All right, tell us what's happening. Well, we're just going back and forth on uh, this Ultramar 55 deal that the wife wants to happen and the husband certainly seems to be jeopardizing as best he can. And uh, I guess we're feeling a little ambivalent about it, which is maybe a sign that it's not a great setup for us. Yeah, she and I talked, we worked it all out. Oh, really? Did you? It's gonna be part of um, Nick's negotiation skills class is to actually just let the women handle it. <laughs> is that right? So I just wanted to get your reaction raw because uh, it's a done deal. So, well, yeah, so how do you feel about the boat? Because basically we can have it if we love it. Yeah, I mean, there's some things to figure out, obviously, but they basically just want to cut ties and yeah. walk away from it. I think it's smart. It's smart on their part. I think for us, it's, you know, it's within budget. It's what we want in terms of a simpler boat that's maybe a better performer. And um, I'm not opposed to some hard work as long as it's structurally sound. I think it's, I think it's going to be a winner. Unfortunately, we found warping on four of the interior bulkheads. We're not boat builders. We're not surveyors. We're not marine engineers. But when we see warping on a structural part of a boat, we start asking questions. We took photos of the issues and sent them to a marine surveyor. And we also sent them to Outremer, the builder of the boat. The experts told us that these issues could be cosmetic or they could be structural in nature. Further investigation was required. The problem is that you can't tell whether the structure is compromised without removing the covers and that damages the boat. So without damaging the boat, we can't see if the boat has a structural problem. And the seller was not interested in doing that. So until he decides to investigate the issue, nobody can tell definitively whether there's a structural problem on the boat. And for that, we called it quits. We were pretty bummed about this one, to tell you the truth. We are so ready to get back on a boat. We really love the North Sand facility here. Great spot to get work done. The folks are really nice. Fongare is a lovely spot on the North Island that we could see spending a lot more time at. But you gotta know when to say when. Um, you know, buying boats is an emotional thing. <laughs> For sure. I mean, there's a lot of money involved, so it, it's a transaction. At the end of the day, I think it's better to not have a boat than have a problem boat. And buyers capitulate all the time out of desperation. That is not us. We're, we're back to a little bit of the drawing board, and who knows what's going to happen. We'll just go get a dog and a goat and a little farm, and we'll be happy with a dinghy. <laughs> oh, God. Don't say dog. <laughs> Just don't say dog, because I could use some dog therapy right now. <laughs> cool. What the heck is that? Sugar! <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Okay, perfect. What's that? We're all set. All we need to do is get our Airbnb in Auckland tomorrow, and we are good to go. All right. Drop off in downtown instead of the airport. That was a brilliant recommendation from our friend Mark. Well, we're heading into Auckland for the night. Gonna meet up with somebody who's loaning us his car, Simon. Be fun to meet him and check out downtown Auckland. Any idea which way to go? Nope. I think we're in the uh, Fort Lauderdale of Auckland. Yamaha. Yeah, let's go left. We're just exploring. We have a couple hours before we can check into our Airbnb. Not going to be sad to say goodbye to this little thing. After all the itinerary adjustments, we were charged double. Dropping off our mode rental car key. 
Oh, scare me. <laughs> We're Carlos. It's a cool building. This is Grand Central. What is it, a train station? New Zealand. This has been quite a wild ride. I don't know what to say, really. <laughs> We're saying how we feel like Auckland reminds us of, of Seattle. It's right on the water. You got the kind of the freeway going near the water, marinas everywhere. They even have what kind of looks like a space needle. Anyway, it just sort of reminded us of Seattle. I think our friend Simon is here. <laughs> Hello! Kelly's limousine service. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice yeah. to meet you. Thanks for coming all the way down. That's so all nice. right. It's the limousine service. <laughs> I stopped the rain just in time. Oh, you were like God. <laughs> so where, where's all your gear? Some viewers offered their little lake cabin for a couple of days. So we're going to go unwind. There's no Wi-Fi. So we're going to edit, chill out, watch movies, and go for a little lake ride to the volcano. There is snow mixed in with this rain. We've had an Antarctic blast in the last two days, and uh, it's cold. It's, it's definitely still early spring down here. Wow. I heard it's gonna get down to one degree Celsius tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing we'll have an oil heater to heat our bedroom. An oil heater? Yeah, we, our, our cabin, I guess, is kind of older. Really? Yeah. Rustic. Rustic. In Rotorua. 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 You got a bathtub and you got a bean bag. And a fire. <laughs> the trifecta. Are you happy? I'm so happy. And, and this know, view. The view is not bad. Oh at all. my God. This is just heaven. It does feel good to be reunited with the bean bag. It's been four months. <laughs> we need our bean We bags. need our bean bags. <laughs> so, is this the place to contemplate? And this is the best bathtub I've ever <laughs> been in. I'm not joking. No? It's full length. <laughs> oh, the backrest is the perfect angle. The seaweed is always greener in someone else's lake. And we're having a taco salad. What'd you find? You found? I found paper towels. This is a rarity in New Zealand. And Tahiti. I think it's really good. I think they're... They're training me to be more environmentally friendly. You should be more environmentally friendly. I really, I, I feel it. Are you being, have you been environmentally unfriendly? Yeah, I think I have used paper towels when I probably didn't need to. So I think I've changed my ways. New Zealand trained you. I did. Maybe you're trying to become a New Zealander. I definitely am. New Zealand, will you take me? <laughs> this place holds secrets. Definitely. I can picture being a little kid and just running down here. Back over here, come here, you gotta see her. <laughs> Which way do we go? You look like a little kid. I saw a cool quote today. It said something about young people are great because they can see the beauty in things. Yeah. And so you never grow up if you keep seeing the beauty. True. Is this is where the hobbits are? Oh, it's locked. It's pissed. I feel like we have to watch Lord of the Rings. I do too. I think we might need to go find the Hobbit homes. Who are, who are the people who invited us? It's Jackie and Jeff. And their son Daniel. I don't know how long they've had this property, but they really want to go sailing, so I think it's for sale. What? Yeah, I think we should buy it. I don't think you can be a foreigner. I think that's the problem. So you have to get residency. I think you have to start a corporation or something. I don't know, we'll look into it. <laughs> Q. 
Kiwis live up to their reputation. Kind, friendly, and generous. Not only did our generous host stoke us out with their cabin, they offered to take us out on the lake. And they stoked us out with all the New Zealand goodies. So traditional, this is what? Okay, reduced cream. Traditional New Zealand dip. So reduced cream and onion soup. And you put either a teaspoon of lemon juice or vinegar with that. Nice. This is a toy toy flower. Oh. This oh. is from the tree. Kiwi fruit. Um, lolly on the outside and then it's got sherbet in the middle. Okay, stupid question. What's lolly? Oh, your version of sweet. Okay. Oh, okay, like sour, yeah, sweet, or real, okay. Okay. We don't, what are you talking about? We don't have an accent. Yeah, you, <laughs> you guys have the accent. What are you talking about? Oh, that's A-Y-E, right? A. A. Well, do, what's, A. how do you say bike? Bike. bike. Yeah. What? Bike is bike. Bike. We're going to travel around in front of the houses and then we'll go across the lake past the bottom of the volcano and then through to where the hot springs are. Nice. When was the last time we were on a boat? Is it, is it Seattle? I actually I got a lot of layers. I got my slip-ins on. I got a wool sweater. I got a sweater on my neck. I got a neck warmer. I got two jackets. <laughs> uh, Rotorua itself is in a thin crust area. There's lots of um, geothermal. When we get around to the beaches, you can see the what the crater that came out the side of it. So the, when the mountain exploded, there are five craters and blew the top off, and all the ash went up in the air and it came along this way and there was a village, Wairua village, here that was buried and they did find survivors so it was a, a Maori village and a uh, hotel uh, and it destroyed all that but... Is this where we'll cook our feet? Yep. I don't want my feet cooked. So if you bury awesome your feet pumice. in the sand, you'll burn them. Oh, okay. Um, you can that. cook fish and stuff like that in here as well. Note to self. Don't walk in the stream, so when you see this, when you're going, the stream running into the water, just don't walk where near it. Where it sees danger. Where it sees danger, <laughs> don't go there. Um, well, we're Americans, we walk towards danger. <laughs> then when you're in the water, the hot layer will sit about that far, just the top layer will be really hot. So you just swish your feet around to mix up the cold water from below and stuff so you don't, don't bury burn your yourself. Feet. And don't bury your feet in the sand. If you bury your feet in the sand, You'll burn, you, them. You'll so burn them. Okay, that stream right there, that's boiling. It's boiling hot. This is really hot. Oh yeah, well, that's too hot. <laughs> I don't want to be too hot. Where are we? Okay, we're on um, Lake Tarawera. Tarawara. Tarawera? Tarawera? Tarawera. Yeah. I got it? Tarawera. 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 Yeah. I'm gonna get used to it. Only the locals know that. Yeah. Boat access only. Yeah. What else is going on in Oregon? What's the tourism in Oregon? Namely. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of become the mountain biking. I guess there's uh, more vineyards now. Uh, yeah, vineyards, wind sports. Wind sports are big. Oh, yeah. Gorge. So the kiting and the um, yeah. wing. Is yeah. that it? Yeah. You guys have the wing. Finding our next boat has been a lot harder than we expected. But times like these remind us there is more to life than boats. You're a ham. You're a ham sandwich. I don't see any pineapple. Good move. For us, living a life less ordinary has always been about the people we meet along the way. We assure you, the boat hunt continues. And we've got a very important video coming your way in the next couple weeks about the boating industry and how it's changing in these uncertain economic times. Thanks to everyone for spending your valuable time with us. And patrons, it's been wonderful getting to know you in our behind the scenes community.
You know they don't want us here, right? We'll buy our way into New Zealand. How shall we do it? They'll never know. We'll just buy this boat. We'll climb on. <laughs> and pretty soon, we'll pop our heads out. And we'll say, We've always been here. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, wizard. Shall we buy this Ultramare? We shall buy the Ultramare. 55. By the hand of Danson. Gerard Danson. Brought it into this world, and we shall take the reins. And whip that wind. Tame it. Bring it under our control. To fly north to the islands of Tonga. Fiji. Samoa.